Hey guys, Nano Cube update week twenty nine. Okay, lots happened this week. Too much. Um, had a problem with Dino. I thought it was Cyano. I kept mentioning in my videos. Uh, I have a whole bunch to say about that and why I think it's happening. But hold on a sec. The 55 gallon is filling. Uh, hold on, I'll go. I'll go more into that in a minute. Let's do this in some type type of order. Okay, we can start with the 20 long because this is the best thing going on right now. Uh, the 20 long, I said, had some new live rock that was just about done cycling, and I put a lot of rock from the 20 high in there because I had the issue with the bear um, not being rinsed off very well but as you can see everybody's looking happy in here I moved some of my frags from the other tank into here um, the cube because the cube has a problem with dino which I will get into so what I plan on doing is taking out the cycled rock that doesn't have any frags on it and putting it in a 55 then I'll have room to move the corals from the bio cube or the nano cube into this tank. So the live rock will help cycle the 55. Plus I'll make room to move everything into here and I can deal with the diano flagellant in the bio, the, in the nano cube. Wow, that's a whole lot to cover. So hang on. Okay, in the nano cube, uh, you can see I'm bubbling ferociously because this dino flagellant gets on the sand it strings up and it chokes everything out now I told you I couldn't find my um, yellow watchman goby I believe since he's a sand sifter he ingested some of this dino and it is toxic so I think that was his demise um, I did find some of him in the pistol shrimps burrow so I don't know if he did it as to bring him in for a food source or a memorial. <laughs> I don't know how far that symbiotic relationship really goes. But um, I've also lost my bullet hole clown. So I found him dead. He got into the back filter and he had no eyes. So I had said that my six line was bullying everybody. Um, I think it was just he was picking on the fish that were ill. You know, as fish do, they pick on the weak fish. Uh, I did see him a few minutes ago. There he is, okay. So, I'm down to two fish. I don't have an emerald crab. Again, he's another algae scavenger. He may have gotten toxified. So, I still have my pistol shrimp. I still have my peppermint shrimp. And hermit crabs and snails seem to still be okay. They come out in force at night. Um... That, I believe, is because the six line picks on them. So when he goes to bed, they come out. All right, so why do I have dinos? And why did I have bryopsis? And why do I have all of these problems? And I thought it was cyano, and it was this. And why weren't my zoanthids opening? And they don't open in this tank. They open in the other tank, fine. I had one small frag in here that wouldn't open. So here's what I think. And again, it's only theory. Um, limited reef education here, disclaimer. Um, I believe the tank was doing fine. I bought that sand sifting star just because they were out of Nassarius snails and I wanted something in my sand bed. It's not quite a deep sand bed, but it is definitely two to three inches, depending on where you look. So it doesn't, you know, it typical deep sand bed where you're getting the benefits is four to six inches and deeper so it's not that so I'm kind of in a middle zone here and I believe I built up a really nice microfauna in there I had a lot of biology a lot of life forms and they were all helping me maintain this tank and chemistry and the sand sifting star really uh, I believe they need a couple of square feet of sand each and he starved out my sand bed. 
which basically means I have a dead sand bed, so whatever it was doing, it's not doing anymore. Again, my theory. So this tank has never had tap water in it. This tank has always had decent salt in it. I mean, when I first started it up, it was instant ocean, but that was in the cycle process. I immediately moved to better salt. Um, I don't know. I did one, one water change in here with the new Fritz salt, but I'm just going to do a get the fish out, get the coral out, do a lights out for a few days, um, see if it goes away, and then put the lights back on, see if it comes back. So I'm kind of hustling here, moving around, trying to get this tank and that tank and the other tank. So, hang on. We'll, we will look at the 55. Okay, so, Pet Supplies Plus. It's a store similar to Petco, if you don't know what it is. Had a dollar per gallon sale. It's basically to um, mess with Petco a little bit, you know, do their thing. So... But they also included the 40s and the 55s, which Petco stopped doing last time around. So I got this 55 gallon for $55, which was nice. Um, built the stand real quick, had a 2x4. Uh, you'll notice I made the legs wider. I made the stand wider than the tank. And that is so I'll have 48 inches below in the sump area. So I'm not limited to my sumps. I may do 220 highs, I'm not sure, but um, I drilled the tank. I did a video on how to know if your tank is tempered or not, the glass. And then I built this little weir here. So I kind of tried to do a little ghost overflow. And this will slide underneath once I trim it a little bit. It needs to just be a little thinner here. But basically it has a stop on each side. So it'll sit under that brace, and I'll have a nice little box there. And I built it out of um, LCD monitor plexiglass. So we'll see. And I have that siliconed in. Um, I siliconed it in last night. So as the water gets up to it, we'll see if it's watertight. I have an RO buddy going on. Um, not much... Nothing fancy in the way of plumbing. I just have them teed off in the back. And I have caps here I'm going to drill holes in for silencers. So I'm not doing any of the fancy uh, plumbing stuff. All right. And then under here. They just come in. I'm not even sure what I'm doing sump-wise, but I'm trying to get it cycling so I can move the rock in there. Even if... It stays below the weir, and I can just keep the stuff in the tank cycling. But I'm going to have the returns going to be in the middle. These, I have a, a valve on one. I have a union on the other. Um, like I said, I may limit it into a refugium on one side with the valve. So that's what's going on. And I have to try and get the video out early because I'm trying to do all this. And the girlfriend's coming over, and she's going to want some time. So you know how that goes. All right, guys. You guys have a great weekend, and uh, thanks for watching. See ya.